Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Margaret and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. <laughs> yeah, you might be wondering why I'm in the comfort room right now. Um, it's just because I'll be trying out beauty products from Blooming Beauty by Audrey. And obviously, um, we need water because <laughs> they are products for bathing, widening and all. So first off, we will be starting with their uh, Rose Hips Natural Scar Fader. So it's a pink soap and you can use this all over your body, especially in areas where you have wrinkles, scars, dark spots, chicken skin, and also stretch marks. I have accepted the 7 day challenge, so this will be my day one of using this product. It's actually a set. I have the prices in my list so I'll be listing down the price of each product here below okay so for this one it's the rose hips natural scar fader it's a body soap and it's also a facial soap so this is step one step two is the body cream so it's best used with rose hips natural scar fader and body scrub so remember this is the scar fader soap this is the cream. This is how it looks like. And step three, if you're going to apply the rose hip scar fader on your face, you need propolis. So you actually need to leave on these items and each item has a different time frame which you need to leave it on your body or your face. So this is step 3, the propolis and it's only used for your face. So the skin benefits of propolis, it's good for acne and pimples, fine lines and signs of aging, inflammation, skin allergies, it moisturizes the skin, minimizes the pores, melasma and stretch marks so it's enriched with 37,000 IU vitamin E and it's pure honey based that's why when I opened it it smells like honey so no wonder it's pure honey base so again this is step three for your face only this is the propolis step four this is the blooming beauty body scrub and it's chocolate walnut it's powder and it's a body scrub so what you do is after the body cream you need to wash it off and this is the next step this is a full body whitening scrub you can use this as your step four and lastly the snail white extract whip soap if you're curious on what's inside let's go ahead and open it it's times 10 whitening so i actually told the distributor that I'm using Kojic soap currently and she advised me to use propolis for a few days so that my face would neutralize however yes it might sting a bit to her but yeah let's go ahead and try this seven day challenge so this is what's inside it's a bar soap with delicate net for softening whip foam Okay, so here is the very fine net that comes along with the soap inside and it's very fragrant. So what you need to do is you need to open, open this first and remove the plastic covering of the soap. So this is the net, right? And this is the soap. You need to unwrap this first and put it back in so that once you start using it, so pull to open. Okay. So it's nail white. Let's go ahead and read the ingredients. It has water sodium, palmitate sodium, it has anise, anise seed oil, snail secretion filtrate. It has a lot of ingredients. It also has ascorbic acid, fructose, glucose, lactobacillus soybean ferment extract potassium and all of these ingredients here guys but generally it's a snail soap it's made of snail extract so let's put it back inside the net we're good to go so let's start with step one i'm not gonna remove my clothes guys you know this should be child friendly <laughs> so looking at the Step one, we need to use the 
Rose Hips Natural Scar Fader. Pull to open. All right. Mm. It smells like bubble gum. So, for demonstration purposes, I'll be using these products while I have clothes on. So, let's go. Step number one. Wet your face. Let's try the arms as well, guys. I was going to use it with my underarms because they said it's also good for dark, dark areas. <laughs> so I'm going to use that as well. Okay. Feels like I'm washing bubble gum all over my face. So once again, this is my day one. I'll be having a comparison of my day one versus day seven. It's not that bubbly though, compared to other soaps. I'm gonna be using this later on for my full body wash. I'm just using it right now for demonstration. Alright, alright, let's rinse it now. Off, you need to wipe your face, dry it off. Then we have step number two, and remember that it's going to be the body cream. This one perfect for dark underarms, signs of aging, warts and scars, dark spots, pimple marks, stretch marks, and it's perfect for body widening in just seven days. That's why it's a seven day challenge. So let's go ahead and try out the cream. It actually has a sky blue seal and it says don't accept if seal is broken. Let me throw off that seal. They suggest to um, have it on your skin for an hour. She also said for better results, it should be left on your skin for 24 hours or overnight. But for now, for demonstration purposes, I'll be applying a small amount all over my concern areas. <laughs> it smells like, like Perla. Anyway, here it goes. So my concern areas are my underarms, all the chicken skin, the bumps, and the harsh effects of shaving. So I'm gonna place it also on my elbow. These are the areas exposed to bumping on surfaces in the office, like when I'm typing. I'm gonna be treating them something special tonight by trying to widen them. So yeah, elbows and this part here. I think it's called the forearm. I'm not really sure about that. Okay, so I'm gonna be applying it also on the areas where I have stretch marks and that's going to be on my tummy and in my thighs, on my knees and everywhere where there are dark spots. So I'm not gonna be showing it off in this video but I'm gonna be using them and I will be showing them on my last video and that's going to be on the seventh day okay so i'm going to be washing it off so that we can try the next product that's going to be step three and that's going to be the propolis since i'm not using the body cream on my face no need to rinse my face again so it's already ready for step three and that's the propolis let's go ahead and open the propolis and if you didn't know all of these products are organic so even if you're face and body is hit by the sunlight, it won't darken unlike other chemical products out there in the market. So don't worry, this is organic. It's really pure honey base. I'm not sure what they mixed with this, but I'm really sure this is mostly honey. 
This has 37,000 IU vitamin E. Let's go ahead and apply it on my face. So if you saw my previous vlogs, I actually use honey to scrub my face together with brown sugar and aloe vera. It has actually a warm effect on the face. And by the way, they also suggested to put the propolis and the body cream in your refrigerator. Just tell all the folks in your house to avoid consuming it because they're not really edible. So just let them know that you're placing it in your fridge to cool down. So I guess that's good. You need to also leave this on your face. Let's see. 10 minutes for the propolis. Next up is step number four, which is the chocolate walnut body scrub from Blooming Beauty by Audrey. So since I'm gonna be testing it on my arm, I'm gonna be washing off the cream that I placed a while ago. So this time I'm not gonna be wiping it off with towel because it needs to be wet. Mm. God, chocolate, guys, chocolate. Can I eat this? Okay. Wow. It has very fine grains for you to scrub your body with. So let me put this down. And once again, this is Whitening Body Scrub from Blooming Beauty by Audrey. It smells so good. It's like I'm rubbing my body with chocolate, guys. So expensive, right? It smells so sweet. So I'm done scrubbing my arms, including my elbows, of course, and my concern areas here. So once you're done, Scrubbing your arms, whole, whole body with the body scrub, rinse it off. I won't be wiping it off with towel because I need my arms to be wet for the next step. And that's going to be the very fragrant snail white soap. They call it the snail white extract whip soap. There you go. This one. Wow, it's very foamy, guys. So, a while ago I was complaining that the rose hip scar fader did not really have bubbles, but this one is very foamy. This has a lot of bubbles skin. And remember, it's 10 times widening for this, so can't wait for day seven. Oh my gosh, it's so foamy, guys. 10 times widening power brought to you by Snail White Extract Whip Soap from Blooming Beauty by Audrey. Go ahead and read how many minutes should it be left on your skin. Directions. Wet soap bar with water and massage until foam comes out of the soap. Massage onto skin and rinse after. It does not mention as to how many minutes it should be left on your skin. So let's go ahead and wash it off. Okay, so let's just pretend the propolis has been on my face for 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and rinse it off. Okay, so this is my skin for day one. Let's go ahead and check it after seven days. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any suggestions on what product I should be trying next, you can leave in the comments below. And if you wanted to show your support to my channel but don't know how, Please do hit the subscribe button below and share this video for your friends to know the product to see. See you guys. Please stay tuned for my next vlog. Thank you so much.